there's one thing that I've been surprised about lately, it's the fact that Splatoon hasn't really had any major glitches coming out, and that's pretty impressive nowadays, considering that a lot of games do have a tendency to come out with something wrong, or something a little off, if you know what I mean. But usually Nintendo does have their stuff really tightly packed, but considering that they usually do use older hardware, that's to be expected, I suppose. But Splatoon finally has somewhat of a glitch going on, where you can travel out of bounds in Inkopolis. This is a heads up, guys, as usual. I haven't seen this video yet, or whatever it may be, the article, video, whatever. So this is gonna be a first time reaction myself, and most likely you guys haven't seen this either, because not many people have been talking to me about this. Let's go into detail and see exactly what's going on here. We are at nintendonews.com, and um, let's see if this is actually worth covering. A newly discovered Splatoon glitch lets players roam freely out of bound beyond the walls of the game's Incopolis Plaza to explore uncharted territory. With a well-timed jump or two, players can access outer limits of Incopolis, which also allow them to walk through concrete walls and thick steel. One step in the wrong direction, however, will result in the player respawning back to the starting point in the plaza area. YouTube user Fash? I'm sorry, you know, it's, it's always difficult when trying to pronounce usernames. Um, that shows him performing the Splatoon glitch says that the trick will take some coordination and precise movements. Get two kids to spawn in the back near the wall and jump at the left one and transform into a squid around the top of their head. Um, this is really a precise trick. Other recent, other recent games have their fair share of quirks and glitches. February, someone turned Smash Brothers with 3DS into tomatoes. Item, items into tomatoes. I heard about that shit from a while ago. Um, big red button Sonic Boom. <laughs> Let's not even continue reading this sentence. Um, Splatoon having released last week is still very fresh. There will likely be more reports of interesting glitches found in the game. When they're discovered, we'll be sure to let you know all about it. And um, like I said, this is going to be one of very few that I know about, if not the only one. Let's see some more detail right now. We're going to check out. Um, we're going to check out his YouTube video about the whole thing. Here we go. Oh yeah, and you know it's obviously his most popular video. Four days ago, thirty-one thousand views. So this is definitely something legit. Let's see exactly what's going on here, though. I'm gonna just grab these headphones. I mean, well, audio is probably not needed for this thing, but still. Hey. And of course, this will be linked in the description, so definitely give it a check out. Shout out to the dude Flash for reporting on this and uploading the video. It's always interesting to see a new game like Splatoon have these kind of crazy ass glitches, you know, especially one which involves you walking out of bounds of the fucking starting town. Um, let's see. And there we go. Holy shit, he's actually outside of the fucking... And, and, he, and it has floor. He can walk through the walls though, yeah, okay. What the fuck? Holy shit. It actually has a floor throughout. Like, so he's outside of the fucking city right now. Walking through the through it as if it's an area you're supposed to be in. Can I ink your turf, sir? Can I ink your turf, sir? <laughs> That's hilarious. But um, yeah, as you can see, he's walking on the train. He's walking right next to the train tracks, and he he's actually outside. But like you said, you do have to be careful because I guess there isn't floor programmed after a certain point. So even though there is solid ground here for some goddamn reason, there isn't any more after a certain point. Extremely interesting. You can actually see the inner structure of a lot of places that you wouldn't normally be able to, or like a different angle from these places. He must have definitely been doing a lot of experimenting with this though. I'm surprised that Splatoon has so many details of the city filled in outside of that main hub. Like they seem to have like a lot of intricate details. Like you saw like the um like the building scaffolding and the um the, the iron wires that usually are used to keep certain structures in place. All that detail was just sitting there outside of the city, probably never for a player to see if he didn't, you know, break the boundaries of the game. So, I, I guess they can get kudos for the fact that they programmed so much of this thing in place. But, it makes you wonder if there's going to be any future where you'll be able to actually transverse further bounds of the city. But probably not. I, I heavily doubt that. But I mean, still, it's interesting to see all these details that we will never be able to see otherwise. Very interesting glitch. Really explorative too. Um, definitely gonna try this one in my own time. If I do manage to get those two inkling to spawn in that area to be able to do that whole squid kid boundary break. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Like I said, this will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and of course, is you, wait, 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 do you think this is something Nintendo can patch out by the way? I doubt it, but who knows? It just might be. 
Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.